Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to solve one of the interview question they asked to SDEG for XPath. So uh, the question is how to find XPath for Google search box and search button. Now let's quickly open Google Chrome. Don't find XPath for this page because this is the default page of browser. Type something here. google.com now on this page try to find your xpath let's try for this uh, input field first just right click on say inspect so it will open this uh, developer tools window and here you can see this is the element you want the xpath for now right click on this element and copy the default xpath say control F and paste it here okay we are not going to use this xpath this is a uh, xpath generated by the browser and this is not efficient and not maintainable so we need to uh, improve it now the idea is to find a common uh, an ancestor uh, which has a uh, uh, some some unique value some some unique attribute now let's find how many ancestors are there for this particular uh, element so put slash here and then ancestor double colon and then press star so when I say star it will find out all type of tags which are ancestor of this particular input now you can see there are 10 matches here that, that means there are 10 ancestors to this input tag now let's uh, put the index here for the 10th uh, ancestor so most recent ancestor uh, is this and you can see there is a attribute js controller and it looks like it has unique value we can use this and if you if you do not want to use it uh, let's go you can go to the previous ancestor and the previous one and the previous one to find uh, find a unique value until you satisfy yourself okay so uh, let's go to this uh, last ancestor the latest one and uh, I can see this particular value we are going to use this uh, attribute to find this ancestor first and then we are going to find the uh, input tag in this ancestor okay so let's remove this xpath we don't need this now uh, and copy this value or if you can copy this entire oh I think I missed it Yeah, I'll copy this value put double slash and div here type at the rate js controller whose value is this and in this particular tag you need to find the input okay you can see there is only one match and you are able to uh, highlight this particular uh, input field okay so that's fine the next uh, goal is to find xpath for google search button so here again we'll follow the same approach uh, just right click and inspect uh, it will show this element here uh, then again copy the xpath of the the browser generated xpath for this element and now again find the ancestors star okay there are nine ancestors so find the latest one uh, looks like this this particular tag do not have any attribute so we cannot use this okay so let's go a uh, step back 
all right so this div tag has this particular class and i think we can use it and i think that is unique let's try it let's copy this value here and this is a div tag uh, whose class is this and inside this div tag i need to find input but on this input tag you can see there are two buttons right but i want to find this button uh, whose value is google search all right you can see there is only one match for this x path and we are able to find this particular google search button okay friends uh, uh, if this video helped you please subscribe to this channel and uh, hit that like button and put your thoughts in comment section because we like to hear from you thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye